What's up everyone, welcome to week 6 of the top 10 Leeson plays of the week and the final top 10 of 2016. Coming in at this week's number 10 spot is a play submitted by Prophecy of Vodka. He's on his way bot lane for a nice little counter gank and without hesitation sees an opportunity to ward hop in and land an insane Q smite prediction onto Ezreal and secure the kill. Enemy Shaker retreats and the Thresh comes back from La La Land to give Leeson his second kill of the clip. And this week's number 9 spot was a play submitted by Nem Yogo Daily. The enemy Katarina is waiting to blast Kona's safety, but he's able to land the prediction Sonic Wave in mid-air and begins to chase her down for the kill as she shumpos away, but he improvises and kick flashes Misfortune into Katarina for the finish. And moving on to the number 8 spot of the week, a play submitted by Chill. He's chasing down the enemy TF who just popped Ghost and looks like he's made it to safety, but this Leeson disagrees as he ward hops over the wall and then flashes to line up the prediction Sonic Wave and claiming the kill. Pay attention to just how precise this prediction was. And claiming this week's number 7 spot, a play submitted by Trippy Sheep 21 He rushes right in with confidence and nails the special surprise onto Jarvan, immediately kick flashes him to deny his flag jump, narrowly misses Kennen, but he had his sight set on Jarvan this whole play, and he lands the max range Sonic Wave to finish him off and complete the play. And moving on to the number 6 play, a play submitted by Heinrich1312. He lands the Sonic Wave onto Master E as he coordinates with Morgana to kick flash the vein into the binding to decimate the vein and is then able to survive and take down the Master E as they take the inhibitor. That is coordination at its finest. Moving on to the top 5, a play submitted by Guy Sin. He looks to help his Janna who's being chased down by Fiora and Caitlyn. He gets stunned by the repost but then immediately kick flashes the Fiora into Caitlyn for the collateral damage and allowing him to melt both targets getting the double kill. But the play doesn't end there, he sees a low HP Cassiopeia trying to recall in the brush so he decides to get a little fancy and baits her flash and predicts it landing the sonic wave and picking up the triple kill. And the number 4 spot this week is a play submitted by Lee Sensei. The play begins with a solid kick flash into both backline targets getting some good damage and CC out but the play is far from over. He's biding his time looking for a good time to re-enter the fight as the enemy rumble pops Zonia's and he threads the needle landing the sonic wave and finishing off the rumble and with only two targets left he slowly punches down the poppy and then predicts the scion flash over the wall which allows his team to kill the scion and get the clean ace. And this week's number 3 play was a play submitted by none other than Leeson. He's looking to turn the fight bot lane as he throws out a nasty Q smite prediction and lands it, gets exhausted but it doesn't matter, he war jumps forward and then kick flashes the Caitlyn into the Janna to keep both targets locked down and then proceeds to finish off the play. Moving on to this week's number 2 play of the week, a play made by Outsec. He throws out the Sonic Wave onto Fizz, Bardstone lands so he follows it up, Ward hops the Blitzcrank and then kick flashes him and posterizes the Fizz as he pulls off the successful kick flash prediction. Boy was that beautiful.
And this week's number one play of the week, the first of its kind, a play submitted by Beeson. He heads down bot lane and throws out the double prediction Sonic Wave and lands it to claim the kill onto Ezreal. Holy fuck, I've never seen a double prediction like that. I need to go take a shower because that was filthy. And now for the bonus clip of the week, I call this play False Hope. Now, as we get to my honorable mentions for the week, I just want to quickly reiterate the submission process and requirements. Remember, the email to send me your plays is heismansubmit at hotmail.com, and I need the plays in .mp4 format. You should only send me one email per week, and the play should be of at least decent quality. I've definitely seen a decrease in the amount of plays submitted to me in the wrong format, but there's still quite a few. All you need to do is Google File Converter to .mp4 on Google, and you'll find websites that take your file, whether it's a YouTube video, a plays.tv video, or a different file extension like .avi or .flv, and it'll convert it to .mp4. It's quite simple, takes maybe a minute to do so, so please remember to do that if you want to submit a play. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. I can taste it. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you're not already. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a 2016 Remembrance video for my channel, so be sure to catch that. And other than that, guys, Happy New Year and have a wonderful day.